All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for an exciting edition of Anything Can Happen? Um, our first category will be, who said this, Republican or Democrat? And here's how it will go. I will read the question. Uh, first person, Annalise or Chris, to raise their hand gets to answer. If they answer correct, they get a point. And then a chance for a bonus point of naming specifically which Republican or Democrat said this. Of course, we're picking these quotes are from either Republican or Democratic presidents, presidential candidates, vice presidents, or significant members within the party, like Speaker of the House or a, a Secretary of Defense, not like Secretary of Erasers and Lawn Care or whatever, like real people you've heard of. Yeah, they did um, something noteworthy, like the, the country collectively sighed and said, what an asshole, so you'd know their name. That kind <laughs> of thing. Yeah, like a Senate parliamentarian, you, you know? Like you got to know the names of the Senate parliamentarian. That's a very important position. Well, I yeah, have all the, the trading cards, but <laughs> just me. Yes. Yes. For all of you kids out there with p political trading cards, which I'm sure <laughs> don't exist, but if they did... Um, all right, let us do our first, our first one, Republican or Democrat. Um, here we go. Ron, I'm going to pick one that is not, that I was going to write to add, but I forgot to, but I know, I know who this is. Um, All right. Who said this Republican or Democrat? As of right now, I am in charge. Annalise. Republican? Annalise, that is correct. That gets you a point. Now, for a bonus point, name which significant Republican said, as of right now, I am in charge. I don't know. It kind of sounds like a douchey thing to say. Um <sighs> Donald Trump? That is incorrect, Krish. A chance to steal a point and tie it up early on, thus proving the title of the show. <laughs> Which prominent Republican said this? I'm going to go with Nixon. Oh, that is incorrect. The person who said that was Can Al Haskins. Oh, I was I was gonna guess. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, Rob. Well, because this one this one isn't on the sheet, so I was like, "Well, I wanna I'll, I'll take a guess at this one because I actually don't." It was a GW. No, it, it wasn't was, a GW. Okay, I thought that was a GW. Was, so this is a very thing. So when Reagan was shot by John Hinckley Jr., um, uh, Al Haig, who I believe was Secretary of State said, as of right now, I am in charge. And everyone was like, wait a minute, the vice president is, who was George H.W. Bush. Um, and Haig, of course, was one of these psycho Nixon guys who came up in the Nixon administration. So he just had this crazy, he said it on the news, as of right now, I am in charge. And the whole country was like, oh, so chain, you know, the, uh, whatever, not chain of command, but um, whatever that's called. Uh, the, the system. Yeah, it's, but, then, it's, but then George H.W. Bush got on TV and said, read my lips, I am in charge, and they <laughs> arm wrestled. Isn't that how it ended? I remember this now. I'm going to put food on your children. <laughs> yeah. Classic Republican. Yep. <laughs> he said, I'm in charge. And this is also uh, after that happened, because John Hinckley Jr. just got a random handgun and shot the president with it. Uh, Reagan wouldn't come down off of his pro gun stance after being shot, um, which is always good. Psychotic. Uh, <laughs> so I'm glad, he, I'm glad he changed his stance up, you know, in, <laughs> because in the 60s and 70s, he was anti-gun because, oh, no, the Black Panthers came in and wanted yeah. to. <laughs> they wanted to exercise their Second Amendment rights. When the Black Panthers came into the uh, state. That's a good point too. And the Black, he was uh, he was for gun, uh, no hey, guns. For, yeah, for gun control. He wanted he wanted less guns and more restrictions and make it harder for people to get because 
uh, black the Black Panther exercised their Second Amendment right. <laughs> for yeah, some he was time. governor of California, and they just showed up at the in Sacramento yeah. with a bunch of guns, and he went, "Oh, maybe we need to regulate this." I didn't mean guns for blacks; I just meant white people. Um, <laughs> So that's like, how that all works. of these black people with guns is concerning. But Mr. President, what about the white people that are shooting you? I'm not that worried about them. <laughs> they're just trying <laughs> to protect themselves. That's all they're doing. Yeah, they're just, you know, they're just good citizens. They have the right to defend themselves, guys. God damn it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're unsub We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.